Hi, I'm John Lee. I'm passionate about science, physics in particular. What we're going to be looking at today are levers. So levers. Levers are things you use so that you don't have to use so much force to, say, move a rock. So, for example, if you had a big rock you couldn't move, what you could do is you could set up a lever to move it. So put in what you call a fulcrum. Okay, a fulcrum and you get a lever. Put it under, under the rock and apply, apply a force down that way and you'd be able to roll the rock over, which you wouldn't be able to do without the lever. However, what we're going to use today is a bit more modern technology. So what I have is this Pasco wireless smart cart and it has a, what it has, it's got a force meter on the end of it. So it's basically, it's a little hook that measures the force and I have a rat trap with a half metre long well, that's going to be the lever attached to it. So, so we can use that. And also what I have is this cart gets Bluetoothed to this computer here of mine, which has, will be able to measure it, will be able to graph it and get the data and cast it onto the screen. So let's give it a go. So what I have here is I have it marked underneath here every 5, 10, 15, 20, up to half a metre. So that's 50 centimetres or 500 millimetres. So if we start off with the first one on 10, I've got little grooves cut in so it'll take there and I'm going to use the force and we'll only go halfway. Okay, so I'll put the force metre on here. Okay, we can put it up onto the screen so you can all see it. AV mute, turn that one off. We want to get rid of this little diagram. Oh, I already have. Good, good, good. Okay, and we're ready to start. So I press start. Record up, down. Okay, stop. Then we go to the 20, 20 centimetres, start, up, down. So what's the hypothesis going to be for this little demonstration? Okay, so the hypothesis would be the further you are from the fat, flat, rat trap, the less force would be required. So let's just have a look at how much force it takes using this snazzy data logger. We'll stop that one. Where are we up to now? We're up to 40. Okay, we'll go start, up, down, and stop, and then we go to Okay, then we go to 50. Start. Up. Down. Okay, there we go. So that's that side of it. Now let's just have a look at the, at the board here. So we've got run four. You better stop run five. Okay, so there's run five in purple. Run four. So what we should see is this graph getting higher and higher as we've come closer and closer to that run number one. So if we put run four, definitely higher. Run three, or definitely higher. Run two, yes, a lot higher. And run one, up there, very high indeed. Okay, and then you could even, we can use this one to, to make this one run two. That one's run three. That one's run four and that one's run five. So we can actually have all the data here of each of them as well. So but this is, you can really see it nice and clearly on the graph. The closer you are, the more force you're going to need. 
further your ROI, ah, the less force, easy to use. And the reason why I'm using this rat trap is what I've started is I've with, done with one of my classes, we've done a little project where we're making mouse trap cars. I want to go bigger and better and make a rat trap car. So we'll hopefully do more clips and try and get a world record rat trap car going. Okay, John Lee, bye for now.